All right, well, let's go over the right answers to your work that you were supposed to do yesterday. You were supposed to diagram two atoms. You were supposed to do, um, it was palladium and acetine, A, T, and P, D. So we're going to start with P, D first. And what you were supposed to do first was you were supposed to do the Niels Bohr model for this guy. So we got palladium, P, D. He has an atomic number of 46 and a mass number of 106, right? So, yep, that's on here. Okay, so we're gonna go, here is the nucleus. He's got 46 protons. And then we subtract those two and he's got 60 neutrons. And then we do this model. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we'll need number seven. We'll see. All right, so we're going to put 46 electrons in there. So we're going to put two there. And we're going to go two, and then six, and two, and then six, and then two. That's my first six oh, so that's actually 20. So I'm going to go 46 minus 20. That leaves me with 26 left. So now from there, then I come down here, drop off 10. So subtract 10. That's 16 left. Come up to here, drop off six. That's 10 left. Go up to here, drop off two. Subtract two, that's eight left. Ding, jump all the way back down to here. And I can put 10, but I only have eight left. So that's my answer. All right, so that's what you should have had for your Niels Bohr model. All right, we're gonna double check, make sure we did this right. We did palladium. The last spot we dropped off was in the tens area. So we can remember that the 10 area, that's the red region in the middle of the periodic table. Happens to be the one, two, second box of tens, and we dropped off eight. So I grab this, we're gonna start here and go one, two, down, and count over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's palladium. Sweet. Okay. Great. All right, now we gotta take this and transfer it into the other uh, system, the quantum mechanical model. So again, we can we're gonna start with this two. This happens to be the one S. So we're going to put two arrows in that spot. So there's my two arrows there. I'll put a little check mark there so I know that's done. Now we go to this one. And we're going to put two arrows in that one. That one's done. Then we did six. And it's this. We go one, 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 and then second one, second one, second one. So that's done. Then we go to here. Drop off two. That's this next box. So two go in there. Jump down. It would be this one. That's this group here. The uh, 3P, 1, 1, 1, second one, second one, second one. Now you can see by the notes I told you that uh, it's not very much fun making all these arrows and it's a whole lot easier making the arrows uh, simpler without having to write both sides of the arrow. Now we go up to here, drop off 2, that's in the 4S, 1, 2, that's that guy. Then we jumped all the way back down here to the 10, which happens to be my next set of boxes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Then we jumped up, did 6. That's his 4P. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There's 6 in that one. That's this guy. Then we go up here to 5S. There's 1, 2. So that guy's gone. Then we jump down here to the 8 and the 4D. So 8 means we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, you got to go 1 in each one first. Then you come back and put second ones in. There's 6, 7, 8. So there would be my answer for those. All right, now what I have to do is now I have to do my uh, spectroscopic numbers, which is right here on your paper. All right, and if we do that, uh, let's see, we'll do it right across the bottom down here. All right, so all I do is I go here is 1, S, 2, and the second one, 2, S, 2, and then 3, P, 6, 4, S, 2, uh, Oops, and I also jumped over. I'm like, oh, wait, that don't work, right? All right, so there's 4s2, then I go 4p6. Oh, look at that, I'm already messing up. Excuse me. After 4s2, then I jump down to 3d10, then 4p6, then 5s2, then we go 4d8. And that concludes that one. So that's what you should have for that. And the next piece is the abbreviated idea. So in the abbreviated idea, we're looking at 
palladium, which is right here. So we're gonna go, let me move my fingers. So we're gonna go palladium, we're gonna go all the way across, up one. Krypton is my noble gas that is less than palladium. And Krypton has 36. So we're gonna put in parentheses KR. And then what I need is I need my first 36. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, uh, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, oops, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and 32, 34, 36. So right here, oops, let me do a different color. Right here is my line. And everything that I just circled in green, that's Krypton. So that's 36 electrons. That's my first 36. Then I've got to add 5s2 and 4d8. And that then bounces me up to the number for palladium. So that's what you should have had for that one. Now all we have to do is the uh, AT. So let's erase some of this. this. Okay. So for AT, his atomic number is 85. Holy macro, that's a lot. And mass is 210. So we're going to have in our nucleus, we're going to have 85 protons. Subtract those two. That's what is 5 and uh, 12, so 125 neutrons. Then we gotta do our Niels Bohr model. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. All right, so now we put this guy in there and we got 85 of them to put in. So I'm gonna go my two, two, six, two, six, two. There's my first 20. So I'm gonna go 85 minus 20 gives me 65 left. Then ding, jump down, jump to here. I got 10 left, take away 10, that's 55 left. Now I go up to here, drop off six. That's 49 left. Go up to here, drop off two. 47, ding, jump down, jump back to here, drop off 10. That's 37 left. Go up to here, drop off six. 31 left, go up to here, drop off two. That is 29 left. Okay, ding, jump all the way down back to here. I'm gonna put 14 in there, so we can get the root of 14, that's 15 left. Go up to here, drop off 10. These mean five left. Go to here, this file holds six, but I only got five left, so I put it in there. Okay, so let's double check and make sure we did it right. So we put the last spot we dropped off is in the sixes. It was one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth box of sixes. So the sixes is over here. That's the P area. So we're gonna start here, go one, two, three, four, five down. We dropped off five electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, there's a T. So we did it right. That's good. Now let's see if we can put our arrows in. So our arrows. Go blue. So we got our first two right here, so that's one, two. Then we go to the next two. We got that one, so we go one, two. Then we jump down to six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then up to here. We did two, one, two. Jump down to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then go up, drop off two. One, two. Then we came back and did ten. That's down here. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Then we did six. That's this next set of boxes. Then we go drop off two. That's here. Actually, it's kind of if you notice, we're still doing the angle idea, just like we did in our other one. After the two, then we came back to ten. That's this. Then we go drop off six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go up, drop off two. Ding, jump all the way back down here. Now we got 14 to do. Well, that's this set of boxes, or seven boxes. And then my second ones. 
All right, then we got 10. There's a lot of arrows. There's my 10. We're down to the last one. We got this one. We got about five. So we got to go one, two, three, four, five. And that's where I stop. All right, now I got to do my spectroscopic numbers. So let's see. I'm just going to get rid of this corner down here. So my spectroscopic numbers, we've got 1s2 and 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Oh yeah, I'm going to jump down. We're going to go 3b10, 4p6, 5s2. We go down 4b10. 5p6, 6s2, ding, all the way down to here, so now we're at 4f14, 5d10, and then 6p5. That's my spectroscopic numbers for that one. Now I need my abbreviated ones. We'll change colors for that. So abbreviated, we need to figure out what's the noble gas involves this guy there's AT we're gonna go over go up one it's xenon is the noble gas that's less than AT xenon has 54 so I'm gonna put in parentheses xenon and that's my 54 so we got to count over 54 oh goodness so if I count over 54 where it will fall is right here that, that I just put inside the circle, that's 54 electrons, right? Now everything that's outside of that is, oh, we got to add outside xenon. So we have a 6, S2, 4, F14, 5, B10, and a 6, P5. And that would be my abbreviated piece. So again, the xenon takes care of everything that's inside the, right inside the circle. And this adds some to get me up to that AT element. All right, that shows us the homework that you were supposed to do. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day.